Hey everybody, it is I, Super Paul Games. Welcome to a new day. So we have three days to investigate the stuff that we learned in the trial stuff. Did everything freeze? Okay. <laughs> so I think the first place we're going to go on day one of our three days left to investigate will be Lander Hagelslack's Chocolate Emporium. I want to see if the chocolate was poison. Welcome back, messieurs. Have you decided to sample my fine chocolate? I know Sparrowson wants them. Or perhaps you have returned to ask more questions. Uh, it's just the questions today, I am afraid. I'm asking the chocolate piece. Let me think. Who to ask about? Well, we didn't ask about Major Hollison last time, right? Because I didn't realize he was the murder dude. Have you ever served a member of the Royal Guard by the name of Major Hall? No, monsieur. What? But that was our... What? Um, are you, are you sure? Because that's kind of what we have the whole case pinned on. Yes, monsieur. I, I have served many soldiers, but I don't recall seeing a major in here in recent memory. Oh, no. What's that mean, Falcon? Have we lost our lead? Not necessarily. It just means that Major Hall didn't buy the chocolate that may have killed him. There's still the possibility that somebody bought chocolate for him. That's our lead. Oh, I like to lead when I dance, Falcon. Not that kind of lead. Oh, is there lead and lead pencils? That's lead. Uh, and that's who we need to find, whoever would have bought the chocolate. Oh, I see. Oh, I once did serve a high-ranking officer of the British Army who was on his way to Zimbabwe. If you want to hear that story. Oh, I want to hear about Zimbabwe if there are babes. Uh, no, I didn't want to hear that story. Oh, you're such a buzzkill. Let me think. Who to ask about? Well, I don't know who to ask about now. We asked about Mousy. We asked about Mr. Fox. Uh, wouldn't it be... We asked about her. We're going to ask about Cocorico. Did we ask about the swan? Have you ever served a flower-swelling swan? Selling, not swelling. I don't, even, I don't think I got bigger with swan. Whatever. Catherine uh, Marie Signy. No, monsieur, I... Oh, shoot. What are you thinking, Falcon? I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. If she were the chocolate fiend, then our investigation would have become much simpler. But since she's not, let me think. Who to ask about? Because whoever it was came in through the south, ex or the south entrance of the loop. And our client, what is his name, Renard, who says he's the Prince of Spain, he came in from the west... And uh, the Kingfisher, who lied about stuff, he claimed he saw the swan come in from the south. So I can see why Falcon would be like, I don't know. Well, we're not going to ask Land Lander if he did. He works here. What about that creepy judge? A snappy judge who seems eager to wrap up trials as quickly as possible. What is this guy's problem? Um... Have you ever served a hairy wolf in judicial robes named Judge Romulus? Yes, monsieur. What? All right, have you ever served... Wait, 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 did you just say yes? Yes, monsieur, a wolf in judicial robes. I did serve a person like that a little while ago, on the 6th of January, to be precise. A day before the murder? If the judge was the murderer, or even if he was just at the scene of the crime, he can't be the judge, then he'd be a witness, and he's obviously hiding something. Did he say or do anything suspicious at all? Not that I can recall, monsieur. Uh, he was a pleasant fellow. Big, toothy grin. Bought 200 grams of classic dark Belgian chocolate with a custom filling. Ew, do you feel it yourself? I'd like to see that. A uh, custom filling? Some type of caramel. He provided it himself. That is suspicious as hell. That you go into a chocolate shop, you're like, I brought my own filling for my own chocolate bars. Although he unfortunately did not bring enough for me to sample. <laughs> you might have died there, Lander. Though you're a big man, you might be able to with... Uh, your body might have the constitution to deal with it. Hey, what's this mean, Falcon? Well, we shouldn't make assumptions, but it means that this judge liked to eat chocolate. And he might have poisoned it. But if the judge's purchase is related to the rapper at the crime scene, then... Monsieur Hagelsack, do you think I could get a copy of Judge Romulus's receipt, please? 
Oh, I can do you one better, monsieur. I have the original right here. I keep them for tax purposes, you understand? As a small business owner, I very much do understand. Is it okay for us to take it, monsieur? Absolutely. Most memorizing and receipts contents is trivial, after all. So we have had a very unexpected turn of events in that the judge of the trial, who is shifty as you know what, he might have bought the chocolate? Hey, would you look at this thing? Judge Romulus signed it in green ink. And handwriting? In the previous episode, we got a letter um, from the newspaper with no handwriting. Hmm. That doesn't mean much, though. Green ink? I knew Judge Romulus was shady. Only truly villainous people write in green. Seriously, Sparrowson? Thank you very much for your time, uh, Monsieur Hogglesock. Uh, you have been enormously helpful, and by that I mean enormously. Hey, was that a fat joke? Shh, shh. Oh, I'm glad to be of service. I wish you the best of luck with your case, Messieurs. That was a totally unexpected turn of events. I know I said it before, but I didn't expect it. Honestly, I don't know where to go next. Do we go back to the scene of the crime? Remember, these clocks mean it takes a whole day. We've got two more days. Do we go to the bar? I don't know why we would go there. We could go to R&M and Associates and talk to Renard's associate, Mr. Mousy. Maybe he could give us some pertinent information or impertinent information. Hey, what's up, guys? I wasn't smoking. Oh, hello. Hey, I'm the Mousy dude. Oh, hello, Mr. Mousy. It's nice to see you. Mousy, we have a message for you. It's from Prince Juan himself. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot. He wants to know if the birds have flown south for the winter, whatever that means. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the birds migrated successfully. Oh, crap. That means the girl got away. But if Monsieur, I mean, Prince Juan told you that, then he must, that must mean he trusts you. Oh, yeah, he trusts us with everything, Mousy. Everything. He must want you to take these. Go on, take them. Take them. What are they? These are... Used train ticket stops? It looks like two people took a railway trip to Vienna. What exactly is the point? Uh, wait, what is the point, this mousy? Is that supposed to be in it? Um, Prince Juan said, you know, he would help with the trial. See the names, see the names, the names! Uh, guitar signy, Nicole signy, the swans! I've got a year. I don't know who the first one is. I recognize the surname, but I don't know who these people are. Signy the swan! I'm neither do I really. My sure, sure I mean Prince Juan just told me to book train tickets for these people and then make sure they caught the train. And so that's what I did, Mousy had asked to help. I'm strange. I'm not exactly sure how these stubs are supposed to help with the trial, but I'll keep a hold of them just in case. Ticket stubs have been added to our evidence folder. Let us go, Sparrowson. I am done playing courier. Oh, you like a courier pitch? Don't even say it! I would not lower myself. I am a mighty majestic hunter. Pigeon, shut up. I hate you. Oh, we should go. Good call. A new day, Thursday, the January... The January... January 20th. We can only go one place today. Interesting. Only to our offices. A sign in the door reads the every area attorney offices. No case is too big or too small. Really reminds me of the Cyclopedia Brown. I'm feeling pretty confident about this case. The big picture is coming together nicely. Is it Falcon? I think we should use this day to do some more, like, talking to people. I'm somewhat relieved that Prince Juan came clean. His secret was putting the whole case in jeopardy. It's a good thing we found that out. Lest the prosecutor try to slam dunk us with that. We've still got one day until the trial, though. But how to spend it? I suppose we could revisit the Louvre, or maybe we should just play some cards at Le Canard Joy. Is something wrong, Sparrowson? You're unusually quiet. What troubles you, my little feathery friend? Falcon, uh, we need to talk. Oh, are you breaking up with me? But you're my law partner! Play cool, I can handle rejection. Um, what is that? See, I was thinking, uh, I was doing some thinking, actually, and dangerous thing to do, I know, but... Anyway, I realized we're missing a crucial piece of evidence, Falcon. And what evidence would that be? Oh, well, we know Major Howell consumed a piece of chocolate before he died, and we know he died of poisoning. 
But we're still not sure the chocolate was the cause. Oh, that's true. If we keep pushing the chocolate theory, Kakariko will most certainly bring that up. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, so I thought to myself, if one were to consume the wrapper itself, then we may provide proof of whether it contains traces of poison. What? Oh, wait, I think I get where you're going, Sparrowson. I would think Falcon would just eat it now and be like, let's find out. Oh, I'm dead. So you're saying we just have to convince whoever really poisoned it to eat the wrapper? That's odd still. So. Because <laughs> if they really did poison it, they would not want to eat the wrapper. Well, um, it's kind of odd. Sure, I guess. Uh, that could work, but it'd be incredibly foolish. Wait, were you thinking of eating the wrapper, Sparrowson? Probably shouldn't do that. Oh, maybe. Well, stop those thoughts right now. I'm not going to let you potentially kill yourself like that. This would be better if we could use that to scare someone. Oh, I knew you would say that. That's why I already consumed the wrapper. You ate the evidence! Sparrowson, you're an idiot! 45 minutes ago! What are you trying to prove? If it's not poisoned, our whole case was built around that, Sparrowson, you idiot! Our whole case was built around that. Unless it's inside the chocolate, but I don't know what... Oh, are you trying to ruin our case? You're the devil. Sparrowson! Sparrowson! To the hospital! Sparrowson, you madman! Oh, that doctor scares me. Doctor, doctor! Can you tell me the news? Um, is Sparrowson okay? Well, he's not conscious right now, but he's stable. I think it's safe to say your friend's not on his deathbed. For some reason, that reminds me of, um... Oh, Dave Foley. In the SN or the uh, kids in SNL. Kids in the Hall sketches where he's the incompetent doctor. I think it's safe to say your friend's not on his deathbed. Oh, thank God. How did you say this happened again? It's, um... It's a long story. Lawyering, occupational hazard. Uh, doctor, can you tell me what poison caused this? I got no idea. I'm an expert in mental health, not toxicology. But look, when I shoot this into people's brains, I think it makes the brain smarter. I don't know. It's my first day. But I've sent for a specialist who should be here by tomorrow morning. He'll make a full, full ass, ass assessment. I made an assessment of my wife earlier. It's getting too big. Ah, uh, well, that's good to hear. I'm about Sparrowson. Thanks, doctor. Take good care of him. No, my wife's butt is really big now. Uh, wait, 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 wait a moment. There's a matter of the bill. Yeah, you have a nice bill. Um, uh, we'll have to discuss that later. I have an important case to prepare for, and I'm one partner down. I see. Well, rest assured that your friend's in good hands. I do need money, though. Ah, uh, this is terrible. Terrible, even. Ah, uh, what the hell was Sparrowson thinking? I need that little twit. I can't win a case like this. You, I found it, found you. Did somebody say something? I don't know who this is. Run around like a headless lawyer. Or is it the girl running around like a headless chicken? You're one tricky lawyer to find. I told you to drop the investigation, but you wouldn't listen. Uh, who's speaking? I can't see you, my sir. Step forward. All right, I'll step forward. But it'll be the last thing you'll ever see. Oh, no! Well, that didn't help me. Did you cut my eyes out? Because I need those. Did you just throw me in the river? Au revoir, JJ Falcon. Now, I didn't know who that was supposed to be, so that's why the voices were all over the place. I, If I'd played the game, it would be consistent with whoever it was, but I don't know who did that. Huh? Why did they hit me? What just happened? Where am I? Did I pee myself? Am I dead? Oh, I can't be right. This is nighttime. I'm just sleeping. If I focus and count to three, I should be able to wake up. One. Wait, what's next? Two. Uh, menage a trois. Blue, 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 blue. Did it work? Some sort of dream sequence. Ah, Dan Caroline. I can't believe how easy you were to fool. I put on a cutesy voice, acted all innocent, and you ate the whole thing up. He's just gonna- Shut up! I don't need to be lectured by a murderer. You played me. I'm a murderer? Why, well, I'm sure Falcon. It was your accusations. They put Baron Rogu on death roll. Oh no! He's gonna die because of us? Oh, that's gonna make it hard to sleep. It wasn't my fault. Hey, where are you going? Out of my way, Severin, I'm done talk. 
Not done talking to Dame Caroline. Oh, that's the wrong one. It wasn't my fault. Is that the excuse you make after all of your failures? I'm not making excuses, Kakarinko. Failure after failure after failure. No desire to improve yourself. You're a joke of a lawyer, JJ. Don't call me JJ. That's all you have to say? How pathetic. You don't even deserve to stand in your grandfather's shadow. JJ Falcon had a famous bird grandfather lawyer? My... my grandfather? I didn't know he came from Falcon lawyering ancestry. I'll prove you wrong. I can do better. It'd be harder to do worse. Oh, would you, Sparrowson? Have you come to berate me, too? Oh, what? No, no, no. I'm here to tell you to wake up. Wake up, Muncha. Wake up. Hey, can you hear me? I said wake up, you tit. Ah. Well, that was very interesting. We woke up a newly built bridge, most magnificent view of the Louvre, and offers quick passage to the Seine. So we woke up by the bridge. Interesting. Oh, Monsieur, wake up! Hey, it's you, Toussaint. I said wake up! You started to worry me! Oh, thank goodness! I wasn't sure whether I'd have to find a doctor or a mortician! Ah, it's you! Ah, you, it's you! My head! Oh, it hurts. Where am I? You're in Paris. Oh, the Ponce you know, by the Louvre in Paris! France! So the place! I catch fish and they taste like poo! People poop in the river! I fished you out of the same. Nearly broke my rod doing it. Well, that's a very personal story. Fishing rod. Oh. Uh, Wait, I know you. You're that disrespectful lawyer guy. Jiro Falco or something. Yep, Jiro Falcon, attorney at law. Um, what time is it? Actually, what day is it? You yeah, you had pretty hard, huh? It's the 21st of January. It's at around 9 o'clock in the morning, by my reckonings. No, 21st? 9 o'clock? Oh, no, 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 no. The trial, I should have been at the court day of science ten minutes ago. Yeah, you're running late. But I take it easy, monsieur. I'm sure they'll be understanding. Uh, maybe if I sprint there. Why don't you fly? In your condition, that'd be stupid. Take a seat, clear your head. I'll get you some dry clothes. No time. Lawyering needs to be done. Wait, monsieur, at least take this before you go. Is that a shiv? Can we shove Cocorico with it? Um, what is this? A dip pen? You're the dip. No, wait, it's a modern fountain pen. I live in the future. Bone handle? So bony? No. Gold nib? Wait, this is very fancy. Thanks, Ben Sherman, but this isn't mine. Oh, really? Are you sure? Hello? You were holding pretty tightly when I found you. Somebody rich knocked us out. Was it a wolf? I was holding this. Then? I suppose it has to be mine. Yoink! The fountain pen is then added to our evidence folder. Thanks, fisherman. I owe you one. Hey, don't call me dad. I'm not a fisherman. Racist. Yeah, it's nine o'clock. I believe it's time for a roll call. I would like some rolls. Can we call in for rolls? Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. This man looks highly suspicious because of the chocolate link, but I have no idea what's going to happen in the trial. Hopefully things go well for us. It's really cool how the plot's thickening. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully.